Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I am here again to talk about my lowly White Sox. Now, I'm not going to give you the stats. I'm not going to tell you who the team leader in this or that is because that's all bad news. And you can go look it up, but, you know, I mean, I had a friend text me the other day and said that, uh, Nicky Lopez leads the team in hitting for qualified batters. So, I mean, that kind of tells you everything you need to know. So I'm not going to go over the stats, but we are going to go over exactly what's been going on. Now, as you may or may not know, the White Sox lost, I believe it was... 20 games in a row. I think it was 20 games in a row. So they went on a 20-game a losing streak. Now, you know, you've got to be going bad and have terrible luck to lose 20 straight games. But they did it. They managed to do it. Now, they broke that 20-game losing streak with a win against the A's the other night. But I am recording this uh, video on Wednesday, the 7th of August, and they had the last game of the series against Oakland today, and they lost 3-2. to two. So, it's bad news. I mean, that's the A's, all right? The A's. We had a three-game series against the A's, and we took one against the A's. So, let's just uh, rehash what, what we're looking at here. The team is 28 and 89 presently, as you can see by the standings right here. 28 and 89, 40 and a half games out of first place, 17 and 40 at home, which is terrible until you it <laughs> I mean you think it's really terrible until you look at their away record and you see that they're 11 and 49 there. And in their last 10, they are 1 and 9. But in their last 21, they're 1 and 20. So it's bad news all the way around. Now, let's compare this to the, the 62 Mets. What do the White Sox have to do to be better than the 62 Mets? Now, the 62 Mets did play 162 games, they played 160, and they finished 40 and 120. So that is a 250 winning percentage. So the White Sox have to finish with a 251 winning percentage or better to be better than the Mets. So I did the math for you. The White Sox would have to win 14 more games. There are 45 games left and they would have to win 14 of them. They would have to go 14 and 31. Which is a 311 winning percentage, which for almost any team would say, oh yeah, we could do that. I mean, if a team knew that they had to win 31% of the rest of their games to make the playoffs, they would say, yeah, we're making the playoffs. But the White Sox have to win 31% of the rest of their games just to beat the lowly 1962 Mets and have a better record, have a better record than them. So, you know, I don't know that that's going to happen, right? Because right now, the White Sox winning percentage is 239. So, you know, I mean, think about that. They've played, you know, uh, what, 114 games, something like that? They've played 114 games or 124 games or whatever the hell it is. And in that time, in all of those games, they've managed just a 239 winning percentage. So what would give you the indication that from this point on, they're going to win at a 311 pace? Which again, for most any team, should be a piece of cake. But... For this White Sox team, no, it isn't going to be. And I'll tell you, I don't think they're going to do it because the two. Remember also, the two thirty nine winning percentage was when we had Fetty, 
it was when we had fam for some of that um, time period. Um, it was, um, well, I mean, those were really the only two guys we traded away that were really any good. I mean, you know, we traded away a couple of other players, but they weren't that great. So, yeah, I mean, so that record was acquired when we had Fetty on the pitching staff and pitching well, and we had Pham in the lineup and hitting fairly well for, I would say, a decent portion of that, that number of games. So we don't even have them anymore. We don't have Pham anymore. We don't have Fetty. So now we've got a whole bunch of minor league uh, pitchers and a minor league players it's uh, it's crazy, and I don't think we're going to make it. I really do not think we're going to win the rest of our game. I, I don't think we're going to have a 311 winning percentage for the rest of our game. I just don't see it happening, which means we will be worse than the 1962 Mets. And if you know, if you're watching the channel and you don't usually watch my Stratomatic stuff, you know that I play a lot of Stratomatic baseball and... Welcome to your Next NFL year, NFL Alexa, NFL. that's enough. Alexa, she always wants to chime in. But anyway, if you know, if you followed the channel, you know I play a lot of Stratomatic baseball. And next year, I'm going to have a field day with this. Definitely need to buy the set. If and if there's a like, if you collect real baseball cards, like the tops baseball cards and stuff, go out and get them because this is going to be a historic set. Because we're going to have a team that's worse than the 1962 Mets for the first time since 1962. So uh, that is that's my spiel for today. What do you guys feel about the White Sox? Do you think that they're going to be better than the 62 Mets? Finish the season better, or do you think they're going to finish the season worse than the 62 Mets? Leave it in the comments. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. Because hey. Frankly, that helps me out. But that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.